Whoa. Oh, <laughs> better than my Craftsman set? Better than my Cobalt set? Oh, man, we gotta have a con we gotta have a conversation about this today. Wow. Well, before we go any further, uh, let's get this opened up and I've got all the latches off and just to show you what's in this box, but uh, there is a lot going on in here. Yeah, let's check this out. Wow, yeah, it's a socket set, but it's also screwdrivers, uh, Allen wrenches, and regular, you know, hand wrenches. So it's got, looks like everything, but this set here has something going on here that I haven't seen. And I'm going to get my Craftsman and my Cobalt set over here for a second just to show you what I'm looking at. Yeah, here's an old Craftsman set that I bought, uh, oh, quite about five, six years ago, whatever. And it was on sale at Sears right before the Sears kind of disappeared but uh, I grabbed this craftsman set because it was like you know 300 pieces for like $300 or whatever and I thought oh great you know 12 point 12 point 12 point 12 point 12 point you know even the deep sockets 12 point uh, that upsets me because you pay a lot of money for these sets and I you know if you're a real honest to god mechanic you'll you'll know right away 12 point socket is called uh we call it the knuckle buster because that's what's going to slip on old rusty nut let's get the cobalt set over here same thing eh, same thing with the cobalt uh, set this was uh, sort of a bad purchase mistake thing but I just wanted to show you you know these sockets and there it is right there a uh, big socket from cobalt in this set and it's 12 point you know. in fact if we go down even to the smaller ones you know, there's a six point there. We got a six point, six point. Okay, so we're six point on these small quarter drives up here. But any of these large sockets, you can just pull out. You just know right away, it's 12 point, 12 point socket. And again, what we like to, mechanics like to say, call it the knuckle buster. So most of this set is pretty much junk. And I'll tell you what happened. See if anybody else wants to comment about this. But uh, what I used to do, and I, in fact, I did it with some of my craftsmen there, though so I can't show you. The large craftsman sizes like this size here, I took all the 12 point out of the set and I went and bought separately, yeah, six point set, put them in and gave the 12 point sockets away to anybody that, that wanted them just to get them gone because they were not going to be in my toolbox. I am not going to bust my knuckles with those things. And I'd love to hear some comments about y'all. You probably have similar things where you buy a set like this and then half of it gets thrown away for whatever reason but in my case i i absolutely loathe 12 point unless you're working on merc cruiser drives then you know 12 point does come in handy but the general six point will get you through and keep you safer working on cars trucks motorcycles airplanes whatever so this set here just absolutely floored me when i looked at the larger sizes here and they're all six point and so i pulled the deep sockets out and it was like oh my Six point, all of it, everything in here, six point. Wow, I don't have anything to throw away. <laughs> wow, so this is a nice looking set and it's also metric and uh, normal. <laughs> oh, just before I forget too, uh, YouTube made a change the other week they were telling me about, so I just wanna test it, it's just a test to see, but uh, please subscribe. Supposedly the subscribe button will flash or something and if I say uh, please like apparently the, the like button or something will flash or something uh, AI is supposed to be doing all that so this is just I thought well, just for fun We'll just test all that out and just see how it works or whatever. Meanwhile, let's get back to this thing because this is This is actually this is again something from Vibor that just you know they, they keep saying tough tools for half the price and I think the price on this I better not say it because I may have it wrong. <laughs> Memory isn't very good anymore. You know? uh, but it's a complete kit. Be grateful if you had an RV and you want to take a full set of sockets with you. This is probably as compact as anything I've seen. And at the same time, it offers every feature. We have the quarter drive, the 3 8 drive, and the half inch ratchet. We've got a nice screwdriver with all kinds of different bits and socket drivers. Uh, beautiful chrome finish on everything. Now the next thing I do I, that I look for is, uh, I've grabbed a half inch here in this case, but the next thing I look for is the way that these were designed. And I do like this type of set with the button back here that releases the socket. That's one of the things I, you know, it's kind of like, you know, gotta have it kind of thing. 
Also a nice solid switch that goes back and forth to whether you're, you know, turning, putting the nut on or taking the nut off. And that was the next thing. I just already did it already, but I just, I listened to the clicks in this case, and I just see how far it, I barely, barely, barely moved this thing. Yeah. And it's clicking really nicely. So very tiny bit of movement and you can get to the next step on, you know, if, you, if you're in a tight spot, something like that, it's really nice to have that. And these seem to have it. Uh, also, uh, the chrome finish again, looks really good. And this open set of wrenches here is really nice. I like that because you have the metric and the <clears throat> normal <clears throat> sizes, but you also have a huge selection of screwdriver bits, which is kind of amazing because uh, these sets, a lot of times the screwdriver bits are kind of, you know, eh, not that great. Also, the Allen key sets in here. You have the metric and the uh, <clears throat> normal Allen key set. <laughs> and the other thing that this set has that both the Cobalt and the Craftsman are missing. Yeah, there was more. There was something else that threw me. I've got the big old style uh, socket for uh, spark plugs, and I've got the small socket for the more modern or newer style, whatever, spark plugs. Both of those sets came and both of them did not have the two sets of spark plug, uh, you know, sockets in them anymore. And again, it was, you know, what is the industry doing? Plus, of course, you have the extensions and the extensions to me are essentially, as long as I have good 3 8 because 3 8 seems to be the size I like to use mostly. Again, maybe comment in the, below what, what size, what size of drive do you like to work with? I like to work with 3 8 almost all the time, but uh, every so often I have to hit the quarter inch. My half inch stuff uh, barely gets used unless we're dealing with something really heavy on a car generally, but it's it's rare. Most of the time my 3 8 is seems like that's the go-to size for you know anytime I'm trying to you know pull, pull a nut away from a, something out of the engine, take a bolt out, whatever. It's like you know the 3 8 seems to be the size. Look at this thing. It's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> I keep saying that this week. It's like become the motto around here. But what a beautiful set. And the sizes, the sockets, again, that's another uh, item that I just the take a look here. It goes up to 21 millimeter. A lot of sets stop at 17. This one goes to 21. Also, even in the uh, inch sizes, we've got, looks like the great big, what do we got here? Yep, the big 7 8 size here for that. Most of the socket sets I've had, generally when you get to 7 8 again, they don't include the big, you know, deep, the big, the deep socket. So, wow, you know, this is an impressive set from Viver, and Viver seems to be, they have a lot of tools, they have a lot of stuff, you know, it's a very large website, and it's worldwide, more than 200 warehouses all over the place, and they, they, they supply stuff as fast as they can. They've started to crawl into Amazon quite a bit, so a lot of the stuff can come from Amazon. In fact, the link I'll provide below, I believe, will be Amazon USA, so that means, you know, a couple days at the worst, and you should have a set like this if you're interested. So, that's really cool. Now, the next announcement, uh, Viva's gonna have Black Friday next month, so we're gonna do something about Black Friday and Vivo and have some kind of a show put together for you for that. So that should be pretty interesting coming up. In the meantime, we, looking at this set, I'm not sure what else I can tell you about it because it is just everything in one package and it's nice. These are all the hard uh, ones that are clipped in. So when you close this up, you wanna bring this lid up and over and close it this way. <laughs> you do not wanna do it the other way because all this stuff will, yeah, it will, it will fall out. <laughs> in fact, when they shipped it to me, unfortunately when I opened the box, a lot of the sockets had, you know, rained into here sort of thing, but uh, it wasn't too, took a couple of minutes to clean it all up and put everything back together. But what a nice set. And a lot of it does, like even the sockets, they do pop in, so they won't come out of there easily. But some of these are just a little bit loose. And yeah, that's a shame because otherwise I'd say this set is just about 100% perfect. One other thing missing here. Yeah, what are they missing? I'll tell you what's missing out of this set, and it's not a big deal because you don't get it. It seems, it seems like nobody gives it to you anyways, but uh, there's no, no torques in this outfit here. And you know what, that's, that's okay because I have a full set of torques that are separate from my sockets anyways. Uh, you could put this in the back of your truck or something, or if you have a small place and you don't have a lot of room for storage, but you'd like to have a socket set that's complete. You know, <laughs> yeah, this is a complete socket set. 
Uh, I've always bought mine on Black Friday for some reason. That's where that Cobalt set came from. That's where the Craftsman set came at the time was uh, Sears <laughs> at that time. Yeah, it was a store we used to have. <clears throat> yeah, uh, they had Black Friday sales, and whenever you had Black Friday, that's when you ran in and you know again you know bought your Craftsman tools at that time. Which brings me to the next point. Uh, Vivor is a fantastic company for a lot of different reasons, and one of the things I love about them is if I say I'm going to show a set like this, they don't care if I have a Craftsman T-shirt on. They don't care if I show Craftsman tools compared to their socket set. They don't have a problem with that. Other companies that we show are really restrictive and they don't want any competitors' names mentioned. They, uh, they don't want any uh, brand names shown besides their brand name and stuff on a review or something. Yeah, they have all these weird little uh, you know things going on. But Viver has always said, open door, have at it, do what you want to do. And I love that. And also, I always seem to get a really awesome surprise. I think I should get rid of the Cobalt set is what I should do. Yeah, and keep this set. This is nice. And the other thing that I do is I have those big, heavy metal roll around drawers. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll break the, the hinges on these and then put them in each of the drawers. So when I open the drawer, I have all that looking at me, you know. <laughs> but that's what I do, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, so now to answer the next question that anybody should have on their minds. This is 205 piece and it, it's under, should be under $100. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's somewhere in that range. Yeah. Like I said, I don't want to quote the price because uh, they have sale prices, discount coupons. So I'm never really sure exactly where it's going to land. But for that price, it was like, you know what? Yeah, I, I could easily, easily see throwing that cobalt set to the curb and having this as a replacement set because this is so much better. The other thing this came with. Well, it's the extension pieces. I've got the, the, the longer extension uh, arms in here for the quarter and the three-eighths drives. And even the half-inch has a nice piece. The Craftsman didn't come with anything except the little shorties, you know. And the Cobalt set, again, you know, came with a couple little shorties and that was all you got with the set. So this set seems like somebody thought it out and said, you know, what do you really want in a socket set that you need? And they gave it to you. The screwdriver thing is a little over the top, but again, you run into so many different driver bits these days that, you know, yeah, I can see it. You know, it, it, it works for me too. Uh, another thing too was all these sockets, uh, drive sockets that hook to the screwdriver, but you also have an adopter. There's a nice adopter right here from 3 8 to quarter drive, and that saves me a lot of hassle too, because a lot of times I'll grab the 3 8 and I'll get into something and think, you know what, the quarter drive would be better on this with the, uh, you know, with the extension or something. And having that little adopter piece, that just makes my day. And again, my other sets didn't come with adopters like that. And also you've got an adopter here for the screwdriver, but you can also use that. I've used them before. I put them in my little impact gun and use it to drive an actual socket with something if I, you know, if I need to speed up my process or something that's going on with the, with the job I'm working on. So whether you're, uh, let's see, RV camping, uh, back of the pickup truck, or just something to have around the house, or an apartment dweller, whatever, you need a compact set but you want to cover as much as you can, this is a nice set. And I'll tell you one rule that I learned when I was uh, working in a race bike environment in the shop, we were only allowed to have, I think it was three pieces of tooling out at any one time, and everything had to be put back. If you weren't using it, you had to put it back in the slot of the toolbox where it belonged. And that sounds like a lot of work or extra work or something, but in the long run, in a race bike environment, that was a great thing because you always went to the toolbox and everything was like this. It was where it's supposed to be. You never had to walk around and look to see where you threw it down in a corner or something. So a set like this, really turns me on. I love it. You know, this is the sort of thing I like to work with because everything has this place to go back in, you know, when you're done kind of thing. So what an excellent, excellent set. I, I can't get over this. This is absolutely amazing. It's, it, the quality is so nice. And I just keep kicking myself over that darn cobalt set mostly. I don't mind Craftsman because, you know, it was a brand name for me that takes me back to uh, my youth or whatever and good old Christmas time and going to Craftsman and Sears and looking at the new tools, whatever. Um, the Cobalt thing was uh, at the time was for an RV that we don't have anymore. So the Cobalt set was kind of like, now I don't need it. I really don't need that set. And on top of that, as I showed you, 
there was a lot of stuff in that set that's just not usable and it's not safe to use so really 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 did not like the cobalt uh, socket set at all <laughs> yeah. comment below if you have anything to say about that yeah you know, go for it yeah. beaver has always put that little extra something in their stuff where somebody's thought it out and again they've done a great job hey thank you for watching coffee and tools please like share subscribe ring the notice bell we sort of covered some of that didn't we yeah that experiment we'll see how that works i don't know we'll find out see if the ai is awake over there at uh, youtube meantime i'm going to get out of here man this is great over and out <laughs>